Hey guys, a viewer named Andrew asked me if I could make some smoked salmon. Well, I've never done this before and I don't have an actual smoker, so I'm going to try using my Weber kettle. Salmon is kind of expensive around here. It's about $15 or $20 a pound for all the fresh stuff I saw. So I found these frozen fillets for like a pound of it was like $5. So I thought that would probably be good to practice on. That way if I mess it up, I'm not out so much money. So what I did was these were in uh, individual, you know, packets. So there was four pieces. I rinsed them off. I cut two of them in half so they'd be fit in this little uh, container better. And then what you're supposed to do is brine them. So I found a brine recipe online consisted of one cup of brown sugar and one quarter cup of kosher salt. So I'm going to mix this together and then we will put it on top of the salmon. That looks pretty good. Now I just cover the salmon with this uh, sugar and salt mixture and it says to let it brine, let it sit in this for about four to eight hours. So I'm just going to get this all covered up and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and we'll be back in a while and see how it looks. This has been in the brine for a little over four hours now and look how different that looks. It's just all liquid now. So what I'm going to do now is rinse off the excess brine and then put them on that rack and let them dry for a little bit. I rinsed off the excess brine in cold water. I'm just going to pat these dry with a paper towel a little bit. And while these are sitting there drying, I'm going to go get my grill lit. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Johnny's seasoned pepper on these back ones. I'm trying to get my grill temperature low enough. The stuff I was reading said you want to smoke this at about 150 degrees. And my grill is at uh, running at about 180 the way I have it going right now. I put 12 briquettes in there and lit them and then went, put one piece of uh, apple wood on top and like I said it's running about 180 so once those die down a little bit more maybe it'll be okay. It's kind of tricky to get the temperature low enough here but it was down to about 165 degrees and um, I figured I better not let it get too low or the whole fire is going to go out so I just threw another piece of apple wood on there and I'm going to put the fish on there the whole rack and all it's been drying for about an hour and 15 minutes or so so it looks like it's getting a nice like it's getting kind of dry on the outside so I'm just gonna go ahead and get the lid on there and see how this goes I have my bottom vent all the way closed and the top vent is about halfway open. The grill, the grill temperature is 153 degrees right now. It's been on there three and a half minutes. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. It might still get too hot. I don't really know. It's been 15 minutes and the grill is running at 153 degrees Fahrenheit. Actually, it just kind of dropped off to 149 degrees. So I'm going to take a look at it real quick. Well, that actually looks pretty good. I'm going to see what the temperature of the fish is. I think it's supposed to be 145 degrees to be done. 104. About 104 right now. So it's got a ways to go. I think I'll just uh, put the lid back on and let it go like that for a while and just keep an eye on it. It's been about an hour and 20 minutes, so I'm going to check on these. They are coming along really good. The grill's holding that lower temperature around 140 to 150 degrees, pretty good. I did rotate this rack so that the, the other ones are closer to the flame. These were, I started them out with these closer to the flame and it looked like they were drying out just a little bit more. So um, I'm gonna try putting a little bit of maple syrup on these ones I left plain. 
I saw someone else do that and uh, they said it was good. So I'll try brushing a little genuine maple syrup on these. All right, they're all maple syruped up. <laughs> Let's get the lid back on for just a little bit longer. It has been an hour and 50 minutes, so let's check on this. Man, that looks awesome. It looks pretty flaky, or not flaky, but firm, like it would flake apart. I think that's done. I'm gonna get it off of there. This looks pretty good, but how does it taste? That's the question. Flakes right apart, has a nice color to it. Looks like a pretty nice texture to it. Let's have a bite. That's pretty good. That's actually better than I expected. The Johnny's seasoned pepper was good on that. Now I'm curious to try the maple syrup one. Look at that. Wow, this turned out really good. I want to see how this tastes though. I wonder how that maple syrup's going to be. That one is really good. I like them both, but I really like that maple syrup one. That's really good. I'm not sure if Annie likes fish or not. Want a piece of skin, Annie? <laughs> I guess she thought it was okay. That turned out better than I expected. I didn't know if I'd be able to keep the grill temperature low enough to actually smoke that fish like that. The hottest the temperature got on the grill was 156 degrees. That was on the wireless grill grate thermometer. So um, that was the hottest it got. I actually did add a couple more chunks of that apple wood and threw in just a couple more pieces of partially burnt briquettes along the way when I checked it to make sure the fire didn't die down too much, but it worked out really, really well. The only thing is that frozen fish does leave a little bit of a fishy aftertaste when you're done with it. So next time, now that I know it works, I'll buy some fresh fish and try it that way. I bet you that'll be awesome. So I'm pretty happy with the way that all worked out. Um, it was really good. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll talk to you next time.